Good afternoon wonderful viewers of Simulizi Media. Welcome back to more news. Mgogoro mkubwa wa kikatiba unatarajiwa kushuhudiwa hivi karibuni baada ya kujiuzulu makamishna watatu wa IEBC ikiwemo naibu wa tume hiyo Juliana Cherera. Kulingana naye Atoni Dastani Omari ambaye alikuwa kimwakilisha naibu mwenyekiti wa tume hiyo Juliana Cherera ameweza kufunguka madai ya kuwa uchaguzi ambao unatarajiwa kufanyika katika mwezi wa Januari maeneo ya Garissa Township Kandara na Elgeyo Marakwet hayataweza kufanyika kabisa mpaka nafasi za watatu hao ziweze kuwa replaced nikirejelea maneno aliyoweza kuyazungumza wakili Dastani Omari katika mahojiano na runinga ya NTV asubuhi ya Jumatatu nikinuku aliweza kusema hivi it is a huge constitutional crisis that the Kenya Kwanza government has brought us into today if one of the commissioners dies today no by elections will be held today if the quorum of the three is not met will chebukati exercise the executive power as chair, as chairman when his constitutional term is up he can't then who will exercise the constitutional power of the committee chairman aliweza kuuliza wakili Dastani Omari hata hivyo mapema asubuhi ya jana taarifa ziliweza kuchipuka kuhusiana na resignation ya Juliana Cherera ambapo aliweza kumtumia barua Rais William Ruto barua ya kujiuzulu kwake kutoka katika mamlaka kama naibu mwenyekiti wa tume hiyo ya IEBC katika barua yake Juliana Cherera nikinuku aliweza kuandika hivi It is with immense sorrow that I tender my resignation today as commissioner and deputy chairman of UKTN Electoral and Boundaries Commission IEBC aliweza kuandika Juliana Cherera katika barua yake ya resignation alioweza kumtumia rais William Ruto. Je, wewe mtazamaji wa simulizi media, una lipi la kusema kulingana na ripoti yake Dastani Omari? Na kuachia uwanja huo comment section ili tuweze kushare maoni yako nasi.